All right, Shalom. I'm gonna say Kol Halayim La Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakhak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule up for teaching me the truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect, you brothers out there in the four corners of the world, teaching and pushing the truth with all righteousness and sincerity. And Shalom to you, few sincere sisters who hearken as well. All right, peace, love, and blessings. Kai Ha here, back with another video. And um, as you can see the title, all right, this is on MarketWatch.com. It says the economy is going to collapse, says Wall Street veteran Novogratz. We are going to go into a really fast recession, all right? Because these Edomites, these these uh, these um, these Edomites are right, of the seed of Esau, all right? These so-called white people, you know, they rule in the world right now, starting with your, your top elite banking families, you know, and all of these guys in this um. These are uh, 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 really high positions of power, all right? The upper echelon of, the, of this society, you know, they're getting the people ready for, for chaos, man. You know, they, they're trying to create order out of the chaos that's about to be brought upon this uh, this land, okay? It's going to happen in America. It's going to happen in, in uh, 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 Asia. It's going to happen in Europe. It's going to happen all over the world, you know? This this society is going to collapse in the worst way possible, and we're about to witness it. All right, a lot of people don't think that they're gonna see the end of the world in this lifetime. Well, if not this lifetime, then when? You know. I'm gonna just read um a few a few uh, paragraphs. It says veteran investor in Bitcoin bull Michael Novogratz doesn't have a rosy outlook on the equan uh, on the economy, which he described as headed for a substantial downturn. With the likelihood of a fast recession on the horizon. Yeah, there you go, man. All right, a fast recession. Okay. It says the economy is going to collapse. Novogratz told Market Watch, we are going into a really fast recession. And you can see that in a lot of ways. He said in a Wednesday interview before the Federal Reserve decided to undertake its biggest interest rate hike in nearly three decades. Housing is starting to roll over, he said. In inventories have exploded <laughs> there are layoffs in multiple industries and the Fed is stuck he said with the position of having to hike interest rates until inflation rolls over yeah and that's that's what we are waiting for man we're waiting on the hyperinflation okay all of the costs of this food all right the gas you see the gas going up if I'm not mistaken um I don't know if the bill was passed yet but um the national um rate for gas is going to be five dollars a gallon man all right it says central bank policymakers agreed to deliver an unusual 0.75 percentage point rate increase including a closely watched two-day policy meeting with the move that would push the fed's benchmark federal funds rate rising to a range between 1.5 percent and 1.75 percent as it steps up the effort to quell an inflation rate that is hovering around a 40-year high hey look uh, long story short this place is through okay and like i said these 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 top elite banking families all right they're they're issuing this man they're getting the people ready for you know that 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 revelation 13 okay that that jeremiah um uh 30 and 30 and 7 man you know the hour of jacob's trouble is upon us you know and, and, and fastly approaching look at the title it says we are going to go into a really fast recession okay but that was the point on that. As always, let's bring out some scriptures. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 10. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord Yahweh, that there shall be a noise of a cry from the fish gate, and in howling from the second, and a great crashing from the hills. All right. It says that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate. And that noise, that noise from the fish gate was talking about the first economic collapse. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, it was a uh, 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 1929. Hold up. Let me see. Uh, when was the first time the economy crashed? Uh, crashed, people also ask. It says the first warning was a stock market bubble during the roaring 20s. Wise investors could have started taking profits in the summer of 1929. In October, the 1929 stock market crashed kicked off the great depression of 1929 it wiped out the life savings for millions of people and i believe it was another one and uh uh whatchamacallit i'm not sure if this one was it 
or if it was the um uh yeah yeah it was this one yep wall street yeah wall street is that that fish gate okay it says depression of 1920 through 21 a u.s economic recession following the end of world war one okay so now let's uh going back to the scripture zephaniah 1 and 10 it says and it shall come to pass in that day saith the lord that there shall be a noise of a cry from the fish gate and then howling from the second okay and a great crashing from the hills all right and that great crashing is representing the uh the intercontinental ballistic missiles that's going to eat this place up okay now we're going into a, a second economic collapse all right all of these big time businesses you know what i'm saying all, all of the um all of the uh uh these big time businesses like the uh your, your, your walmarts your targets your 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 sc johnson family companies okay all of these big businesses they're about to they're about to close down man they're about to shut up all right the scriptures talk about as a matter of fact let's go ahead and get it all right the fish gate also represents these um these imports and exports these stocks and bonds these bitcoins okay let me see i believe it was in uh Uh, I thought it was one in um, Second Ezra. All right, the, well, there is one in Second Ezra, but I'll, I'll get that in a little bit. This is the Book of Isaiah, chapter twenty-four, verse ten. It says, "The city of confusion is broken down; every house is shut up, that no man may come in." Okay, the city of confusion. All right, Babal, Babylon. You know, spiritual spiritual Babylon is 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 a uh, 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 broken down. You know, the mirth of the land is gone. Okay, inflation is on the rise. Hyperinflation is on the rise. All right, the people are waxing worse and worse, waxing colder and colder. All right, every day that goes by. Okay, verse 11, it says, There's a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Yeah, again, man, because this place is through. Do you know? You see everybody walking around with their damn heads down nowadays, you know, hoping, hoping, for, hoping for a change. Hoping that things get better. Well, things are not going to get better. All right. Let me get this in um, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 58. It says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the broad walls of Babylon. Okay. The broad walls of Babylon shall be utterly broken. Okay. Again, all, all of these, all of these, uh, these, all of these big businesses that, that was thriving like real hard. All right, built off of the, the backs of our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says the broad walls of Babylon shall be utterly broken. All, right, all of the riches and the, and the dainties, okay? And her high gates shall be burned with fire. And the people shall labor in vain, and the folk in the fire, and they shall be weary. Yeah, uh, everybody working, you know, working these jobs, uh, trying to make a living or whatever. It's just, it's just, you just laboring in vain, you know? And this is not me telling brothers to, you know, not work anymore, okay? Because you, we still got to receive our daily bread, okay? But uh, this is talking about the people who who's looking forward to that 401k and retirement and pension and all of these other things, all right? There ain't going to be none of that, all right? That was the point on that. Let me, um, let me go to second Ezra. Hey, man, again, we're going to see the, the end of the world. Like right, the end of this age, all right? Because a lot of people think that when we say the end of the world, you know, the, the Most High is just gonna blow the whole earth up. It's, nah, that's not what it is. All right, the word world can also mean age. Okay, because the scriptures say what the earth abideth forever. You know, so when we say the end of the world, we we we're saying the end of an age. Okay. Let me see. Um. So lucky, just bear with me. Yeah, Khan. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, verse fourteen. It says, "Woe to the world, and them that dwell therein." Oh, oh. It says, "Woe to the world, and them that dwell therein." That word "woe" means death and destruction. Okay. When you read Hosea the fourth chapter, the first verse, the Lord said He has a controversy with the inhabitants, all right, of of the um of the land, because there's no truth in it, right? So it says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. 
For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. All right, this is talking about um the hour of Jacob's trouble, you know, martial law. All right, we're going to, there's going to be a, a civil wars. Okay, it says, for there shall be sedition among men in invading one another, that shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. All right. It says there's going to be sedition among men. All right, let's let's see what that word sedition means. Sed, oops. Well, yeah. All right, it says conduct or speech inciting people to rebel against the authority of a state or monarch. Okay, all right, and this this sedition is going to be incited. All right, by by these um these these uh these elites, you know. Even more so uh, incited by, you know what I'm saying, with, uh, uh, these these hyperinflations, okay, these gas prices, all right, everything is going through the roof, all right, it's going to get so bad, it, like, America's pretty much going to be a fucking anarchy, man, excuse my French, all right, America's going to turn into a a, a, a a whole anarchy, you know, that's what it means, that's what the scriptures mean when it says, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, yeah, we ain't, yeah, uh, 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 these Americans, they're not going to give a damn about what the president got to say, the vice president, okay, anybody, because everybody's going to be scrambling, you know what I'm saying, and running around like chickens with their heads cut off, trying to figure out how to survive, how to live out here, you know, because not everybody's going to have you how about you, how was shy in the days that's uh, approaching, you know. Um, verse 17, 2nd Edges 15 and 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to. All right, roadblocks. All right, the uh, barricades. They're gonna barricade the cities off. You know. You're gonna be trying to you if 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 you stay in New York, you're gonna be you're gonna be trying to go to damn Maine. Are right? you gonna be trying to go down south and you you won't be able to? All right, you're gonna be trying to run away and you definitely will not be able to because Esau Edom is gonna uh, is gonna have a whole bunch of roadblocks, man. He's gonna section the cities off. Verse eighteen it says, for because of their pride. The city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Okay, and that's the point, you know. For because of their pride, okay, is is <clears throat> speaking of pride, is it not uh, the month of pride right now, so called? Okay, you got these damn elemental p people running around, man. You know, doing all engaging all types engaging in all types of uh, wickedness. All right. And America is the most proud nation on the, on this damn planet, man. All right, so it says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Yeah, and that, that time is is uh, uh, coming, you know. So put on your seatbelt. It's gonna be a hard ride, man. Okay, the seatbelt I'm, I'm talking about is 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 the scriptures. You know, the scriptures is is your safety net. All right. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna get this one last scripture and then I'm um, I'm gonna close out through the spirit. Um, what was it? Let me see. Um, damn, a lot of these are good. All of these are really good, actually. So Psalms 55 and 22, it says, Cast thy burden upon the Lord, Yahweh, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Okay, and that's 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 what we wholeheartedly believe in through the Spirit. Casting our burdens upon the Lord. Okay, whatever kind of uh, uh, cares of this life, you know, that, that we find ourselves um, uh, looking too deep into, are we giving to the Lord, you know? If you feel like you, if you feel like you ever, you're ever afraid of something in this lifetime or whatever, and you know what I'm saying, or you maybe you you don't you don't really um you don't really understand how uh, how uh, uh, Jacob's trouble, you know what I'm saying is is gonna um go down, and you just praying that basically you just want to be safe, you know what I'm saying that you you gotta you gotta cast your burdens upon the Lord, man, all right, ponder upon the precepts, okay, it says that He shall sustain thee, yeah, the Lord is gonna keep you. You know, the word keep or guard means uh, uh, in the Hebrew is shamar. Okay. 
the Lord said he's never going to suffer the righteous to be moved. You know? I mean, you know what? We're going to have the wisdom and knowledge and understanding in, in our minds, man, in our hearts. Okay? Through the hour of Jacob's trouble. So there ain't going to be no reason to be afraid because what the Lord got us. You know? But that's all I wanted to speak on. You know? So all of you people so calling yourself, um, whatchamacallit? You call yourself, you know what I'm saying, a, a working toward this damn, um, the longevity of this captivity, all right? There will be no longevity of this captivity, all right? So all of this Bitcoin and all of this saving your money up and all of this other shit, it's not going to help you in a day of wrath, man. With that being said, I'm going to say call Allah and Allah, how about you, man? Shalom.